Hello everyone, Matreya connecting with you here, wanting to share a little bit about a program that I offer online called Precious Human Life, Bodhi Chitta and the Bodhi Sattva Path. These are some of the teachings that are drawn from Buddhism, uh, but I feel are helpful and supportive, whatever our path, whatever our belief system, whatever we're doing with our lives, these teachings have helped me a lot in my own personal life, in my family, work, relationships. And so this is a little bit of what you can expect. I bring music into all the programs. I feel like music and meditation are a match made in heaven. The music can help us uh, relax the mind and connect with our heart. And I feel like when we do that, then some of the, the wisdom that is already here, we can remember that and come back to ourself. So here's a, a quote from Nagarjuna, a, a great master. May bodhicitta, precious and sublime, arise where it has not yet come to be, and where it has arisen, may it not decline, but grow and flourish ever more and more. So bodhicitta is the awakened heart-mind, the awakened consciousness. You see in the image here, one of the, the Buddhist images of holding the hands at the center of the heart, which is in all traditions, all practices, but you see that, that jewel, that gem between the hands. This is the, the precious elixir, the essence of compassion and can be called bodhicitta, the awakened heart consciousness. Here's another quote from Shantideva. Shantideva was a great scholar uh, and came up with this beautiful text, which there's been many translations and commentaries, the way of the bodhisattva. And so I've been reading different commentaries and translations of this uh, ancient text. I, I love the Dalai Lama's teachings and the Dalai Lama says, if I have any understanding of compassion and the practice of the Bodhisattva path, it is entirely on the basis of this text that I possess it. That's the Dalai Lama referring to the way of the Bodhisattva. And this quote here is, is a snippet from this beautiful, it's like a really long poem that Shanti Deva wrote as a, a way to motivate himself and, and come back to the, the, the true benefit of our, our practices, our spirituality, our heart connection, patience, compassion, generosity. So Shanti Deva says, And now as long as space endures, as long as there are beings to be found, may I continue likewise to remain, to drive away the sorrows of the world. So we will explore these beautiful teachings across the four-week program. Number one, the precious human life. Practicing gratitude, recognizing, ah, oh, this is a gift. My heart is beating. My lungs are breathing. I'm alive. There's, there's something I can do. Whatever's happening, I can choose to work with it and, and be of benefit to others. To heal and to help others heal. Precious Human Life is, is a prayer that uh, I do every day for the last 18 years or so, and we'll be doing that practice as part of our class. Number two week, Bodhicitta, the awakened heart mind, that awakening that compassion, peeling back the layers of confusion and, and blockage and heartache, anger and frustration that they get in the way of this natural goodness inside us week three the way of the bodhisattva we'll go a little deeper into well what is a bodhisattva what is this being of awakening how do i become like that how do i set my motivation and intention and get the help to help me walk that path what do i hold on to what do i let go of so that's week three. Week four, for the benefit of all beings, understanding that as we awaken the great qu 
qualities and the natural gifts inside us. It's very natural to then continue to share that and help others, relieving the suffering of, of all beings. So it's very noble and powerful intention. So I hope you can join me. Here's a few images. This is another quote, this time from Thich Nhat Hanh, another amazing master of the teachings of compassion, mindfulness. Because bodhisattvas are free from fear, they can help many people. So sometimes when we are stuck in fear, we feel trapped, we feel blocked. There's many flavors of fear, worry and anxiety. So once we address and, and reconcile, heal our own fear, we become more courageous, more fearless. Then we can help others become free of fear. And here's a few images of the different depictions of the Buddha of compassion. You see on the left, Chen Rezig from Tibetan representation and the syllables emanating from again, the Bodhicitta, the jewel in the heart. Om Mani Padme Hom. That's the syllables, which is the most well-known powerful mantra for compassion. And so I'll sing a little Om Mani Padme Hom just now. And on the right, you have Avalokiteshvara, another Buddha of compassion with the thousand arms and eleven heads and each palm has an eye in the hand in the palm chakra which represents skillfulness in action so this Buddha this energy of compassion can see wherever there is pain and distress reach out and act skillfully to help reduce and eliminate the suffering So I ask that we can all treasure and cherish this precious human life, this opportunity to awaken, to serve, to heal and to support others to heal. I ask that we can awaken the truth of bodhicitta in our hearts. And may that bring us deep joy, peace and the power of courage and compassion to act in the most skillful way to uh, eliminate suffering in all directions for the benefit of all beings I hope that you can join me for class and we give thanks that we can do these teachings and study these beautiful tools to help us in our lives today thank you thank you thank you mm -hmm.